It's mid-August already and the videos just don't stop coming for the My Cooking Journey 2021 open collaboration. So again, to participate, make sure to make any video which is either Indian inspired or something that you put an Indian twist to. Once you have this, just send me the link. We'll make sure that you have the proper hashtags and we can put the video on a playlist for everybody to enjoy. Today's video is going to be something which I've actually never really made before and I'm pretty excited to share it. So we're gonna be making a mixed lentil soup in the instant pot. Let's get started. Now when I say mixed lentils, there's truly a variety of it. There's no hard and fast rule as to what combination is truly the greatest. You can use whatever you feel like. You can use more than what I have today. You can use less than what I have today. I'm using five types. I'll be using some moong dal, some tur dal, which is split pigeon peas, some masoor dal or brown lentils, chana dal or split chickpea lentils, and then split moong dal. This is a great combination and you're really gonna love this. Let's get started with the actual preparation. So measure all of these lentils into a bowl, mix it all, and then we just wash it a few times with some cold water. And once you're done, just cover it with a bit of water. We're not gonna soak it for too long. Just soak it until we make the actual tharka, the tempering part of our lentils. These lentils are gonna cook so quick that you don't really have to worry about pre-soaking it for an extended duration of time. So to make the tempering or the tharka part of this recipe, set your instant pot to saute mode and add in your ghee. Then add in mustard seeds and cumin seeds followed by some hing. Once this is nice and fragrant, add in onions, green chilies, and some garlic. You can add ginger if you want as well. And then you wanna let this cook with a bit of turmeric, ground coriander, and Kashmiri chili powder. So not baggy mirch, the actual spicy kind instead. Let this cook and add a splash of water here and there if you find that the mixture is too dry. Because if you keep cooking it when it's too dry, you'll burn the spices and make the dish bitter at the end. And once those onions look really nice and soft, then add in your tomatoes. I've roughly chopped them, so you wanna add a bit of salt and then cook this out until the tomatoes have become soft. And again, feel free to add splashes of water if at any point it starts to get dry. Once the tomatoes have softened and the mixture looks just like this, press cancel on your instant pot and then add in all of your lentils which have drained already. The ratio to keep in mind is for a quarter cup of lentils, you need one cup of water. The ratio of lentils to water is one to four. I'm using five kinds. Quarter cup of each of the lentils. So I'm using, so I'll be using five cups of water for each quarter cup of lentil that I'm using. So add all of that in, give it a quick mix, and then close the lid of the instant pot. Then make sure it's in sealing mode and then turn it to pressure cook and cook it at high pressure for nine minutes. You wanna let the pressure build and then let this cook until the timer goes off, at which point just let it release all that pressure naturally. Now once the pressure has popped, open that lid and just take a look and see if the texture, the consistency of the lentil is to your preference. You may find it too thin or too thick based on what you like, but it's always easier to reduce and thicken the lentils and to make it thinner. Because I find that the water has more flavor, the gravy has more flavor once you've actually cooked with the lentils rather than when you add the water after the fact. So it's better to have it too thin and then reduce that to a thicker consistency if that's what you prefer. That's what I'm gonna do actually, so just Hit cancel on the instant pot, set it to saute mode, taste for seasoning, and then saute on low or normal setting until it has thickened to your preference. Also add in some cilantro for garnish, and then once 
the lentils are to your liking, then hit cancel, keep it on keep warm if you want, and then serve it with your favorite bread, your favorite rice dish, and pair it with a delicious vegetable curry. I made some extra, so when I am going to make and show you guys how to do a really simple, no garlic, no onion version of a potato and cauliflower dry curry, it was so convenient to have these lentils already prepared that could have it with some fresh roti bread, some yogurt, lots of green chilies to munch on, and that beautiful potato and cauliflower curry. These lentils can be had plain or paired with side dishes just like this with a vegetable curry, a meat curry, rice, roti, whatever you want. So let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you are going to make a mixed lentil tarka, a mixed dal soup. And if you are, which five lentils do you want to use? Go take a look at your pantry, see what you have and let me know. For more videos just like this one, be sure to hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.